can see all my facial expressions and all the data I can capture, all the points. Okay. So this is what is running inside the Intel NUC. So in real time, you can capture facial expressions in a more precise way than any other technology can do. So which allow us to use a kiss to stop the wheelchair, open the mouth to go to go to one side, let it just turn down, turn it around. And a kiss to stop, raise the eyebrow, kiss to stop, open mouth, and kiss to stop. In a quick smile, I move forward. And even a tongue out, sometimes I can go backward. So you see the, the precision, you see the quality of the capturing facial expressions technology. So this is what we are delivering to the market using the Terrasense camera and also the Intel NUC. It's our onboard computer that I have here underneath the wheelchair. So we are processing everything locally to capture this, those facial expressions. So far we can capture 10 facial expressions. You can use five of them to control your wheelchair and the other ones you can talk to Alexa by Amazon, for example. So from an AI perspective, is this based on a supervised type of model? Did you train it on? It's already pre-trained. Okay. So what we did was we create a huge data set of 3D faces. Because we are using 3D technology, we pre-train it to classify 10 facial expressions. I'll give you an example. We are able to classify like a full smile, a half smile, and a shy smile, for example. Mm. So this is huge, right? And using 3D technology, we are able to do this regardless of the light condition. So what we did was we create two layers. This is two tech, right? But we create two layers. One, using machine learning, so we can classify those facial expressions. And the second layer, we use some heuristics. So I have never met before, but if you smile right now, I can tell that you are smiling, right? So we just teach the algorithm to detect this. So we have two layers, one machine learning, and now we have a risk is one. So we start to uh, optimize this technology using the entire distribution of OpenVINO. So now we can open Vino. Okay. So now we can have a deep learning layer. So three layers machine learning, heuristics, and also deep learning. And we can do this all online, all, all offline, just using the NUC here underneath the wheelchair. Another application in a corporate setting. So here I can perform some facial expressions. Let me just turn off. Same thing like a backpack is left on the ground. A quick smile to move forward. Raise that eyebrow. Um, Open um, mouth. And even a tone out, I can move backwards. So they're taking, um, you know, cool, thank you. Sharp.